Brian Jennings. Yo, yo. Thank you so much for talking to Bayoloric TV. Oh, man, you know it's always a pleasure, man. You know, I've been, on, I've been, been hiding lately, but, you know, we're here. Man, listen, if this is so di if it's so difficult for me to catch you, to get an interview with you, then God knows what Klitschko's going to have to do. Uh, yeah, God knows. <laughs> so, what's been going on? I mean, you've been really quiet. You've been almost like a hermit. What's been going on? Well, you know, uh, you know, putting that work in, you know, getting prepared, you know, the best way we know how. And, uh, you know, just staying focused and, uh, you know, not getting distracted. And, you know, just, just trying to make it make it a very tough, make it a very challenging, and make it a very comfortable at the same time uh, training camp. What have you done differently for this training camp, knowing that you're facing the, as he says, the baddest man on the planet? Uh, you know, within each fight, within each training camp, uh, you know, I gained something. You know, I experienced a little more and uh and I take it up I take it up to the next level. Okay. Uh you know, uh, but you know, but this time this time I focus on on, on specific things and, and you know, we try not try not to do too much. You know, and try not to uh you know, just just put a little just put a little more focus into into the craft, into the technique, into everything, being very particular and, and you know, not, not fucking up. Okay. What about uh, sparring partners. Are you gonna let me know who the sparring partners are? Or is that just completely classified information? Uh, well, you know, it's one sparring partner that's already out there. He already posted his picture up on Twitter. Okay. Uh, but the, spar the, the, the sparring partners, um, you know, don't really matter anyway for this camp. Um, yeah, because because none of them none of them can be Vladimir. Just like just like none of Vladimir's sparring partners could be me. You know, uh, you know, they, they, they can, they can be nowhere near me. Um, but you know, uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Washington came out and, uh, you know, he's out, he's out in the camp right now. Okay. Uh, that, that, that word is already out there, so that's not a secret. Uh, but other than that, you know, uh, we had, you know, we had a few people, we had a few secrets, and we had a few, uh, you know, a few guys that work, work certain ways, and you know, you know, try to mimic certain things, and you know, pretty much just for the style and the size, and you know doing all this other stuff and you know um hey man i'm i'm i'm, I'm handy okay it's no secret who you're facing the six foot seven blah 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 heavyweight champion of the world the bona fide heavyweight champion of the world the the cream de la creme there, there's no doubt that you know what you're facing so i'm not going to say to you anything more than that but in this training camp Obviously, we haven't seen you fight against a guy that big, that str that strong. Um, what challenges, if, if any, did you face in this particular training camp? Hmm, to be honest, and I'm I'm being 100% honest, whether we're on the record or not. Right. Uh, challenges. Well, I used the word challenges. I didn't use the word well, well, problem. Well, well, well. I didn't use the word problems. Yeah, I said yeah. challenges. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get what you're saying, and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm searching for I'm searching for challenges, because well, because right off the top of my head, I can say there is none, and I'm really trying to critique myself and really trying to be, you know, real careful and and and, and name any challenges if there is any, uh, which which I can't really name. So when we so when we thinking of when we thinking, uh, you know, from a point of view where, uh, you know, size wise, you know, uh, you know, as far as like the height, you know, um, that's not a problem. It's not a challenge. Uh, when we thinking of strength wise, that's not really a challenge neither because my strength is underestimated. So that's really going to be a challenge, you know, come the fight time. Uh, there's certain things that we can't really predict until the fight time. So no matter how much we say, okay, if if if, if Chris goes stronger than him, then then yeah, he's a strong motherfucker. You know, because that's what we that's 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 what we'll say anyway. You know, say like that is if we bring the strongest man, strongest man in, and I handle the strongest man, strength wise. And let's just say, for instance, Chris goes stronger than the strongest man. That's just something that we have to wait to the fight. 
to actually, you know, deal with. But as far as the training camp, yo, I'm being honest and I'm being very honest, there are no challenges in this training camp. As far as, like, as far as, like, you know, opponent wise and, you know, dealing with, you know, style, size, or anything like that. What about punching? Having now, now you're going to have to punch significantly upwards. What challenges does that bring, or what what adjustments does that bring to you in your training camp? Uh, that ain't that ain't uh that's shoot punching up, but ain't nothing. You know, that's just like punching wherever wherever the target at. That's where you're gonna punch it. Okay. So, uh, but you know, do, doing the doing doing some. You know, I'm 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 strong. I'm a strong I'm a strong individual. And they very they very much underestimate my strength, and you know. Um, you know, throwing punches up may may put a little more work to, you know, a little more work to the effort, but it's it's it's, it's something that I'm used to, and it's something that I'm very well conditioned to be able to, you know, to, to be able to take out. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So, April 25th, we all know that's the night. That's the night you're going to be in there doing your thing. How do you envision the fight going in your mind? Oh man, it's, 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 it's a lot of vision, and uh, I've I, I vision. I've I can honestly say I've visioned the fight to go just about every which way, and that's in my favor. That's in Vlad's flavor. Favor. Um, I've, I've I've envisioned I've envisioned every possibility, you know, of that round one or within those rounds, and 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 the mental the mental strength that I have that I possess is. Is going to play a key. It's going to play a key. Uh, my will is going to play a key because I understand that it's going to be tough, and I understand it's going to be a challenge, and I understand it's going to be one hell of a task. But you know, throughout this training camp and throughout these challenges that I that I just admitted that there aren't any throughout, um, I've, 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 I've overcome just about everything that's been placed in front of me. You know, as far as the training camp, and I'm. I find ways to I find ways to you know to deal with it, and you know uh, I deal with it, and, it, and it, it's not it's, it's not a problem. There's nothing there's nothing that I've have there's nothing that I'm preparing for right now that I could say, damn, I w- I hope I don't want us to do that again. You know we don't we don't need to do that again for the training camp or you know make a light on me next time. You know everything everything goes smooth, um, and I realize that I'm that I'm already in shape. You know I started the training camp in some type of shape. So therefore, I would I don't have to literally overwork myself, um, even though I'm a hard worker myself. But um, there's 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 a lot of ways that that fight could go, and I've envisioned every single one of them. Okay, have you have you had have you bulked up any more for this fight, or are you gonna come in the same weight? I don't think I'm in the same weight. You know, um, you know, I don't I don't I don't necessarily. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to have somebody take me out of my comfort zone. I fight where I'm comfortable. Like. Right. And, you know, throughout, throughout my whole career, I've, that's what I've always done. Wherever, whatever, whatever, I'm, wherever I'm at, you know, three days before a fight is where I'm at. You know, if I if I feel if I feel weak, then then I'll eat more. You know, um, you know, or if I feel too sluggish, then then you know I, I I'll, I'll slack off on the eating. You know, I just, just just run a little more and you know just drink water. You know, drink water and you know, you know, get my, you know, get my protein supplements and stuff and like that, and you know, that's it. But other than that, man, my, wherever, wherever I'm at is where I'm at. I'm not, I'm not monitoring nothing. Uh, I would like to be around, you know, 225. Um, and you know, that's 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 comfortable for me. And wherever I'm at is comfortable because it's too late once you, you know, once it's the way in. It's, it's, it's too late. So wherever I'm at, I'm definitely comfortable. With. Okay, so we've dealt with height, we've done reach, done with. What if? What have you seen in terms of the Klitschko side of things, his sparring partners, and who he's brought in? Uh, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen a guy. Uh, oh, he, he just had a guy, Paul Coon. Mm-hmm. He's from Philly. You know, he's a southpaw though. Uh, I think, I think Paul's a southpaw. He makes a fight, or he makes a fight orthodox. So I know, I know him as being a southpaw. Um. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I I think he's just going with different fighters for punch selection, and I'm I'm not even going to sit here and act like I'm not I'm not tuned in or nobody nobody keeps me you know well reminded of what's going on and stuff like that. I'm in the loop. 
I'm in the loop, and just like just like I'm quite sure I know he's in the loop. You know, uh, I don't know which one of them Instagram accounts that follows, you know, that you know, that one, I don't know which one is official, but you know, Klitschko team, team official, and all that, all of those, all of those uh, Klitschko Instagram accounts. You know, I see them following, and I see them liking pictures and stuff like that, which means I know that they're definitely paying attention. But uh, as far as the spa partners, I, I don't know, I don't know any of them. Never heard of any of them. <laughs> So therefore, you know, I, I guess all of them put together is a, is a great preparation for me. But I can't, I can't point out one of them far apartments to say individually this guy is a great is a great preparation for Brian Jennings. And you can say the same thing about my spawn partners as well because I don't think any of my spawn partners is on Coach Coast level. Okay, that, that's 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 a fair point. What is what's your perception of the fact that? People are talking about Klitschko's got a fight in September and Klitschko may defend against or Klitschko may fight versus. And kind of like, it's like, you know, Bright Jennings is just, you know, just a just a filler until Klitschko fights another tall heavyweight. What well, you, well, 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 you know, I've, I've, I've answered that question before and that question actually got twisted around. Not by, not by the person who was asking it, but, uh, but but it just kind of got it kind of got misunderstood because the last time somebody asked me a question, and I was just saying you know I was just speaking on terms of just saying well hey well if he's if he's underestimating me then he has then he has then then he has a he has a real problems on his hands and all that but other than that I mean I I just think that I just think that you know things like that and negotiations like that are are just are just ways to just throw something up in there just to you know kind of distract the fighter. And uh, I, I don't believe that Klitschko is actually doing that. Maybe his people is doing it. And uh, then, then if you actually want to really get to it, maybe he is doing it because I was in conversation before the Pulitzer fight. But that don't even that don't even that don't even make me no difference because I know the task that I have to do, and I'm not I'm not I'm not worried about I'm not I'm not really worried about how much he looks over me and all of that. You know, I just use every single thing to actually channel me into being more and more focused. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Finally, a message to your fans. There's so many people over Twitter. I know you're very, very, very um, thing on Instagram. A lot of people are seeing you. And Oh, I'm, all this time we've been talking, I've never, ever asked you, what does your DAO mean, please? What is my what? Your DAO. Oh, oh, yeah, though. Yeah, oh, yeah what does though. that mean? Yeah, though, yeah, though is like an expression. So it's kind of like saying, you know, hooray, yes, sir, or, you know, like, uh, so like, for instance, if, 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 if I'm talking to you and I say, yeah, yeah, we had a great, yeah, we had a great interview. And I'd be like, yeah, though, yeah, though, we did, we did. Okay. So, kinda yeah, though, like... kind of like, you know, it's, 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 an, it's an exclamation. Okay, kind of like, know, a, kinda a, like an amen at the end of a prayer. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. At least I know now. All right. Yeah. Finally, have you got a message to your fans that are out there for April 25th? Well, you know, first of all, I would like to, you know, I'd like to shout out all of my fans, uh, everybody that actually support me, everybody that actually believes in me, that wants me to win. You know, because it's not about, it's not about what they think, what they think is going to happen. It's about what you want to happen, and that's the main thing that that I actually be trying to you know, get into these guys' heads. It's like, okay, so is, is either you love me or you hate me. Which one is it? You know, do you want me to win or do you think I'm going to win? So, you know, if, 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 I had, if, if, if I had love for somebody and I don't think they're going to win, I wouldn't tell them that I wouldn't think they're going to win. I just tell them what I want them to do. And we don't, we, we don't focus on, 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 on what may happen or what could happen because the possibility is, the the wind the wind the wins and losses could go either way, you know you know he can suffer from a loss I can suffer from a loss he can he can get a victory I can get a victory so those are things that we can't really focus on but when you when you talk about people that are actually supporting these are people that believe in you 100 percent these are people that actually they say I don't give a fuck how tall he is I don't give a fuck how many knockouts he got I don't care how big he is so the fuck what be wise on knocking the fuck out and that's that. Period point blank, man. So I thank all my supporters that think just like that. And uh I like to thank I like to thank everybody who, you know, for the following, you know, for the for the acknowledgement. And, you know, come April twenty fifth, man, everybody's gonna see 
you know, that I'm going to leave that shit all in the ring. And I ain't playing. And I ain't scared. Your name's truly in the building. Yeah, though. The new heavyweight champion of the world? But Bright Jennings, how does that sound? Yeah, though. That sound great. That sound <laughs> great. That sound real good. You know, and this, this is where I'm at, man. I fought, I fought to get to this spot. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold it down. You know, this is where I'm at. You know what I mean? Everybody can, I hear most people, oh, you should have waited. You should have did this. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, like, I'm a motherfucker. I'm a grown-ass man, man. I'm 30 years old. Like, you kidding me? I ain't no kid. You ain't talking to no motherfucking, no slouch. I mean, this, this, is, this is what I'm here for. This is, this, this is the moment that I've been waiting for. And this is what I'm going to do. Boom. Brian Jennings, thank you so much once again for talking to Bayloric TV. But don't leave it so long next time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll, make, I'll make sure I make it up. I may, <laughs> I may come down to, uh, I may, I may come down to where you at, you know, get some of that, get some of that nice weather. You know it's nice shit out here in Houston, but, you know. <laughs> That'd be good, that'd be good. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna let you take some pictures with the belt. That sounds yeah. fantastic. And that, that's gonna be that's gonna be your uh, that's that's gonna be your default for your for your website for your for your for your uh, for your Twitter and all that. That's that's gonna be your default. Picture. Thank you, champ. Appreciate uh, that. All right, no problem, man.